Bali volcano cyclone Dahlia intensifies near Indonesia, but will Dahlia hit Australia? Tropical cyclone Dahlia has intensified to a Category 1 cyclone near Indonesia. No cyclone warning has been issued for Australia and its territories but the nation's Bureau of Meteorology warned it could increase to Category 2 by Saturday morning local time. The cyclone is currently east-northeast of the Australian territory of Christmas Island. A statement from the Bureau in Western Australia said, Tropical Cyclone Dahlia, Category 1, was located at 1.00 am CXT near 9.6 S108.7e, that is 345 km east-northeast of Christmas Island and moving east-southeast at 22 km per hour. During Friday Tropical Cyclone Dahlia will move further east away from Christmas Island. While gales are not expected at Christmas Island, squally conditions and heavy rain is possible Friday morning. During late Friday and Saturday Dahlia will turn towards the south and intensify. From Sunday conditions will become less favorable for development and Dahlia is expected to begin weakening as it continues moving south. Indonesia's National Disaster Management BNPB, in a statement said, Tropical Cyclone Dahlia emerged. BMKG, the Indonesian Agency for Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics, continues to deliver early warning of the existence of Dahlia Tropical Cyclone. On Thursday this Dahlia Tropical Cyclone shift was observed to the southeast with a motion speed of 13 km per hour. On Friday the tropical cyclone position is in the Indian Ocean south-southeast of Jakarta with maximum wind speed 95 km per hour and moving towards the southeast away from Indonesia. It is estimated that there will be heavy rains with intensity of 50 mm per day and or high winds at speeds greater than or equal to 50 km per hour. The potential for heavy rain and strong winds will occur from the west coast of Bengkulu to Lampung, South Band. Jakarta and southwest Java, including the potential of strong winds with a force of 20 knots in the same area. People are encouraged to increase their vigilance against extreme weather. Heavy rain, high winds and high waves have the potential to occur. The threat of floods, landslides and tornadoes increases. It follows the devastation of tropical cyclone Sempaka which caused landslides and flooding, killing at least 27 people. At the time Indonesian officials warned the cyclone was pulling hazardous ash erupting from Mount Nagan volcano. Cyclone Sempaka has now dissipated, according to the BNPB.